Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Anything Goes. My name is Andrew Dika and today I'm proud to be at the Brentwood Centre in Essex for Johnny Clark and Topless Mentality Show. Proud to be joined by Victorious Ice Prince. Well. I say this to every fighter, but it feels like a blink of an eye, back in the same venue, back with the same man, back off with another win. How do you feel with your decision win over Daniel Pearl's journeyman? Um, uh, a bit disappointed on my performance, but I'm happy that I got the win. That's what matters. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a tough man, and um, on to the next one. As I said, not to discredit anyone else, not to look at anyone else or overlook anyone, but did it dishearten you that it changed from Taylor Jordan in a clear 50-50 contest to a journeyman? Uh, at, when I first heard it, I was a bit disappointed, yeah, um, the, on the day. But I just thought, you know, done my ass boxing, I've had it before, um, let's see what we can get next. And then add another one, then... Um, got another one, so yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit disappointing, but uh, yeah, that's boxing, uh, it's full of ups and downs, so you know. And, and does that change your mindset and game plan, how you're going to go into the fight, or do you not think of that? Uh, it changes the tactics, it doesn't change my mindset, my mindset is to get you know, um, but it doesn't change the outcome. Uh, the outcome. Yeah, I'm always in there to go and win, um, but the tactics slightly change. Taylor Jordan, um, I wish him all the best because he had an eye injury, so speedy recovery, mate. Um, but he was a bit of a taller bloke, so my tactics were slightly different to, to uh, the, Daniel. The and do you think you could get that remade down the line? Um, no, I don't think so. No. Um, by the way, um, what were you most impressed tonight from round one to round six? On, on my fight just now? On your performance? I like the first two rounds. <laughs> um, but then the third round just switched off like a div. Um, uh, you know, I should just kept to my jab, but... I didn't really lean into my left, but it's, it's, it's boxing, it's all a process, um, it's all a learning curve, so, you know, it's uh, it's one of them things, you just got to get your head round and get back in the gym and keep on learning. And compared to your other performance, where would you rank these amongst those that you're most impressed with? Oh, so I've, I've had 10 now. Yeah. Let's give it a five. Give it a five. Yeah. And just so I let you go, again, we asked this before, but how's it feel fighting on the Johnny Clark show on a top tier show? Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's good. You, you're well looked after, and uh, uh, I had three different opponents, and uh, we saw them out, and uh, we kept me on the show. So, uh, thank you, Johnny, and um, yeah, fucking get down in Brentwood Centre, Essex. Good. Uh, where would you like to go next from here? I'll let you go, what's the rest of the fabric show? Your crew, everyone that supports you, everyone, your team that came out, and every single one of the fans that showed up in the and came to support Bound of the Bowman Centre. Big thanks to everyone, uh, couldn't do it without you lot. Um, anything blows, you're always a pleasure to do interviews with, you're a good man, uh, and everyone else involved in my journey. Fabric show! Fabric show, God bless you, Thank you.